Night 4 is out, and man, it is hard. I had trouble beating the event, even with using War Machine, a dev exclusive tower. I live streamed it last night after a huge trip, and man, it is so hard. But the tower, guys, the tower itself is called the Executioner. Boomerang, you always come back. Hit multiple enemies at once with area damage. De detects flying enemies and stealth as well. I put it to the test last night to see if you could win it with uh, follow mode and using the executioner mostly and yes it seems to be working very well up until the fallen king uh, but the rest of it we were doing juicy damage and these are all the stages for the e executioner the max one has this cool mask and red eye things with some headphones as well for stealth boys level four three two one and zero um did below get lazy and not make the visuals change these these all look the same these three these three different stages look the same they, they are the same so this tower is a bit weird it is not normal usually splash damage will just affect like you know a little small area right here this one does it a bit differently right now it's just doing the arc effect and yeah the axe will end right there okay let's see how it works uh yeah it, it's very it's very glitchy i can't yeah because it, it it struggled to kill three but it just killed all six right there it's kind of buggy i'm not gonna lie to you it seems a bit rushed but it's still cool nonetheless check out this sick upgrade guys range 14 to 14 and look at the range does nothing how cool is that dude anyways double head axe will give you double d damage which is pretty nice and then there's blood seeking which will increase the bounce to five again we saw the tower doing this which is one shotting all those normal zombies but then there was another time where it just fell to do that and did like three or two so i don't know man anyways i spawn in a bunch of things again and it, I, I think it one shot slow oh yes it does one shot these slow guys on level two and look how much damage it has already 513 nice and there's our first normal boss this is kind of an expensive tower to try and kill bosses with i don't think it's doing a great job the damage is low so the problem with this tower is that it's great for crowds but it seems to struggle a lot on bosses it barely died to that level two execution without dj or commander by the way i put in a normal boss but this time it pretty much has doubly damage 15 and i think it should be killing that a lot a lot more quicker there we go it's gonna start to damage him and well, was that just 30 damage dude it, it, i think it just did 30 damage one one time 15 and 15 again and yeah see it just dealt double damage a very weird tower like i said guys it's either really good or it's okay that's just that that's just such an odd thing about it in between these two guys we can see we can see sometimes they have the same health or they have one has lower health like fit yeah it's just 10 health difference and before it was the same but yeah at this stage of the level three is doing really good for boss spam all right let's let's kick it up all right this guy does not detect stealth until uh level four which costs six thousand on top of the rest of the upgrade so this this is good against stealth but it is very pricey do not rely on it in early waves i'm gonna upgrade it to the max level which does 80 damage per swing thing and it one shot at that dude who had 250 health. Let's see how it does against the molten boys. So already, yeah, it's it's one shot him, dude. It does like 80 damage, but it either one shots him or loses him at 20 health. It gets super stupid when you place on max DJ. Look at the range of this. The axe doesn't even go towards the zombie, and it still will deal massive damage to him. Okay, that one I, that one I actually touched. Good job, Tower. I don't know why, but it has like a seizure and and just locks up in the air. Like that's that's not normal. Uh I don't know why it does that. So I just spawned in about five slow bosses and we're gonna see how it pairs up. Not all the towers are currently locked down right now, but even with the five going on. <laughs> Dude, what the hell is this damage? This is a melee attack. This is way better than Gladiator, bro. I can tell you that much. Ooh, it shredded all those slow bosses with supports. This is so good. Oh, and stealth bosses? Yeah, dude. They just get they just get nade-aid so hard. Yeah, this tower's weird because it'll arc all the way over here, but you won't see the... Okay, that one just did hacks. It just... You, you guys saw how the actions did aim by right there? Okay. I forgot about speed boss. It shouldn't really matter. If it shreds slow boss, this won't... Yeah, it just died. 
I spawned in a lot of jacks. Only two are locking right now. And look at that health chipping right there. Um, I'm going to use the commander in a bit to see how well we can just destroy these 5,000 health guys. Yeah, I'll just use that right now. And they're going to die here in a bit. So they still get stunned by the axe despite throwing one themselves. So that's kind of funny. All of them are stunned as of right, right now. So this will be the ultimate true uh, test. Here, we'll just do the call of arms. Well, they keep getting spam stun, so I can't tell how much of a good job they did. Trust me, guys. Th these would have been dead already. How do you not stun all these guys so fast? But right now, yes, they are taking damage. And yes, with that many Jaxes, it is now one. And the slow bosses, yeah, they're just too slow to do anything to, to this tower. Aside from using cash cheats, I haven't spawned anything else like marks. It's just been execution. So it carries all the way, both Fallen and also Molten, all the way to wave the world the last wave. I don't know if this will kill the Molten boss though, because it's a boss. This is where the Executioner no longer becomes OP. I think it should be enough. Well, just me, by the way. Eight of these towers. If you had, if you had uh, all your friends have the same tower, you should be able to beat down the multi boss. Anyways, call the arms right now. We are definitely for sure gonna help out the tower here. Uh, it does need supports, I think, to win in both Fallen and also Molten mode, especially early on in the waves. So far we have done 20,000 damage for a tower that's not really made to kill bosses. Again, it's main thing is to kill uh, crowd controls and they all get stunned. I mean, they're all unstunned. About 44,000 health left over. Not too bad. All right. BRB. Okay, I'm back. Uh, it spawns in stuff in front too. Oh, those are just molten and also the molten titan as well. It does give it a few problems because it does take a while for it to kill that. But already killed and back to the molten boss. Wow, just spawning in again. Well, dude, you're so cool. Wow. And yeah, why is it spawning so much? It's like the fifth time he has done this crap. Jesus, man. Six or fifth. I don't know, but it's it's doing this too many times. And multi boss barely dies, and partially because of the map layout as well. So yes. Executioner can solo carry you if you do your plays right with farms and stuff like that all the way up to the last level and you win falling mode we tried already with a bunch of people and we lost so yes Executioner is a very good tower I would consider it one of the best event towers it only struggles on the bosses but there's other towers that are better for that and you can place those down because you have more monies this is really good kind of for early game but also mid game very well